Carlet KitchenAid Hand Mixer. Welcome to the Cookie Cook Tour. My name is Lupita. Today I'm going to make a little review on this KitchenAid Cordless Hand Mixer. But first, if you're new here on my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and push the notification button and let's get started. Okay. When you buy this KitchenAid mixer, you are going to receive the mixer and it comes with this battery charger with these two beaters. They are called turbo beaters and also it comes with this little card with quick instructions on how to operate and this little manual that has also the instructions and the safety guidelines that you need to use to operate this cordless hand mixer in several languages okay now let me tell you a little bit about the parts of your mixer so this is the motor body here is all the motor of your hand mixer these are the turbo stainless steel beaters here we have the charger adapter and this little thing is the charger adapter pin and here you have the battery port very good and in here you're going to find the ejection button uh, you just need to push it and your paddles are going to come out okay so over here it has seven speeds this is your battery display this light is going to indicate how much your battery is charged if it is green it means that it's 100 percent charged and if it's yellow it's like about 15 to 30 percent charge and if it's red it's lower than 15 percent Now let me show you a little bit how you can operate this cordless mixer. So in this port you are going to insert the charger adapter pin. And then you are going to connect this to the electricity. And you are going to charge the battery of your hand mixer. Now let me show you how you will insert the paddles. In here you have two little uh, engraved images of the paddles so in this one you are going to insert the one that is flat like this that doesn't have the little ring so you are going to insert it until it clicks okay and then in here you're going to put the one that has the little ring and until click okay so it is ready to operate oh it's so smooth and it is not too noisy two three four five six and seven okay if it is yellow it is telling us that we need to be very careful and soon we need to charge our battery because it's like about 15 to 30 percent charge so at this time i won't start it to make some egg whites for some meringues because I might run out of battery so this is something that you always need to be careful one thing that you need to consider is that you cannot use this hand mixer with the cord you always need to use it cordless okay so this is something very important so you always need to be very careful and pay attention on how charged is your battery okay So this is it, I kind of like it, it is very smooth, I love that and it feels that it's powerful and when you go up to the maximum speed it is not noisy at all. Here it 
test the battery. As you saw, this is very easy to operate, like almost all of the other hand mixers, but the good thing is it doesn't have a cord. So if you are a content creator and if you like to make videos of cooking videos, this is perfect because you don't have to worry about having this cable showing on your videos and they will look fantastic. And also if you are a regular cook, you are going to love to have the ability to be everywhere mixing your cookies or your egg whites or anything that you're going to use your hand mixer and it said in the little manual that you have enough battery to make 20 batches of cookies so it doesn't say how long the recipe takes but it's more or less what they said okay so i kind of like the idea of um, moving around my kitchen and not worrying about the cordless but I am a little worried about the battery life. I'm not sure because uh, I like to use hand mixers like this to beat egg whites to make meringues or macarons and you are going to spend maybe like about five minutes mixing them. I think so that if the battery is fully charged you are not going to have any trouble but I wonder like sometimes if you're in a hurry in the kitchen and you didn't have time to charge your um, hand mixer and you start making some whites to make meringues it might turn in yellow and I'm not sure how long it will last I need to make a test um, how many minutes of beating is going to have when the light is yellow or red okay so I can wait to use it to make some meringues or some macarons and see how this is going to behave Thank you very much for watching and if you are new here on my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and push the notification button and see you next time. Please don't forget to also watch my shorts. Bye bye.